Siti. I'm uh, the mother of um, Anik Hazim. Okay, my son has autism, and um, um, I found out when he was one. Um, but it wasn't that bad because I used to work as a preschool teacher and in my class there's two uh, boys who has autism. One uh, is pretty much very active and then one is uh, pretty much quiet and reserved. So when he starts to um, arrange things in, in one manner and he doesn't speak, so I, I, I thought that something uh, that he might have um, either ADHD or autism until he went to kindergarten. I seek help from the principal to ask for the um, the psychologist team, yeah. So and that's where I got to know that um, he has autism. But um, I'm fine with that. The only thing that my life crashed when um, I had uh, to be a single parent, which is to date already nine years raising him on my own. But uh, so far, I'm enjoying every bits and pieces of my life with uh, my son. Um, I should say that it. Uh, the experience is uh, kind of like bittersweet. There's some parts that is bitter, but mostly it's like sweet, something like dark chocolate. So um, dark chocolate is healthy for you. So sometimes bittersweet is good. And uh, yeah, so I'm really glad and I'm thankful for Singapore Fashion Runway for giving him a chance to showcase his talent and um, in the uh, catwalk fashion. So um, it's happening on 12th of August, yeah, at Scape uh, Theatre. So I hope, I do hope, um, many of you um, Singapore could. Um, come down and support us as well as all the special needs um, children around yeah and um, and support the cause yeah because um, we need a lot of great hearts and we need a lot of support um, in in this event so thank you very much and thank you to Singapore Fashion Runway